Hello there. I'm Felton Reed, newly initiated in the Brotherhood of Steel. I saw what they did with the old observatory and figured I had to be a part of it. I'm working towards becoming a scribe. It's a commitment to finding and documenting technology. I've collected a few pieces, but uh, I'm unsure about any of them. I, I need to present something impressive to my brethren to prove myself. Scribe Valdis taught us that exceptional technology can often be found in objects with military or scientific applications. Do any of these pieces gathered in my camp seem like they'd impress my superiors? Oh, already? May I take a look? Uh, what's so impressive about this? Well, I, I like jerky, but hopefully Paladin Romani isn't a vegetarian. I've got to pack up and get back to Fort Atlas soon. I don't like to stay away for too long. Overseer's Law, Charleston Fire Department. Automation used to define life in West Virginia. Now it's the only thing left. These training programs that the responders have set up. How many survivors were running through these? It takes a certain calling to voluntarily run into the middle of a fire. Rescue people. Looks like they kept up that spirit even as the dangers changed. They must have fought the Scorched up close more than anyone. I need to find out what they knew. Clear. This is now a free fire zone. Are you here to become a fire breather, too? Wow! That's awesome! Whew. Uh, maybe we can study together. That knowledge exam sure is hard. Wow! Uh, you want to get to know me? <clears throat> My name is Tiffany, and I'm trying to become the greatest fire breather that Appalachia has ever seen. It is my sworn duty in life to try and stop the Scorched Invasion from taking over the world! Or at least Appalachia. Oh boy! Am I glad you asked! I love talking about the Fire Breathers. They're only the most elite team of responders out there, dedicated to saving Appalachia from the dreaded Scorch. Uh, they all gave their lives fighting against the Scorch, bless their souls. Uh, if only they had access to the vaccine that we do now. The best way to pay respects is to continue their mission and keep fighting those Scorched. Whatever you need to know, I'll try my best to answer. <laughs> well, <laughs> I absolutely crushed the fitness exam. I guess it's easy to move quickly when you're running for your life. <laughs> However, I've been having a really tough time with the knowledge exam. The questions on there are really hard. If only there was some sort of study guide. Oh, <laughs> oh, that, that's very kind of you to offer, but really, I can't accept. Cheating is wrong and will do me no good. <laughs> I don't want to be out on the field taking on the scorch without proper knowledge. The best way for me to be prepared is to do it all on my own. 
Any day now, though, you'll be calling me Tiffany the Fire Breather Brantley. <laughs> oh, you should take this, though. It won't be doing me any good while I'm stuck in here studying. No worries, friend. Let me know if you need anything else. Seriously, anything at all. Examination will begin in 15 seconds. Exam initiated. Activate initial checkpoint. Checkpoint activated. Return to start. Congratulations, applicant. Please access terminal to initiate final examination briefing. So. For your final exam, you'll be running a course cooked up by our very own Lieutenant Madigan to get you up to speed on dealing with these scorched. Head on over to the Belch and Betty shaft when you're ready. Our handler bot, Bernie, will get you oriented. Come back alive and human, and you're in. Fire breather. Applicant detected. Kit ticket issued. Please collect your gear. Welcome, recruit, to your final exam. I'm Hank Madigan, fire breather lieutenant. Exam simple. Reach the bottom of the mine, hit the emergency beacon down there, and come back up. All you gotta do is survive a little slice of living hell, and 
all the scorch that call it home. And I get this is extreme, but we need to know if you can hack it before you got half a dozen other people counting on you. But you're not going in empty-handed. Along with your suit, you've been issued a modified 10 millimeter. We figured out the scorch aren't big fans at depleted ultrasite. I took a field trip to AMS HQ to figure out how to make the stuff, but it's the most effective tool we found for putting them down. So time to prove you can put it to good use. Suit up, strap in, and move out, recruit. Light is on, so it's recording. <clears throat> this is Maxine Ballard, squad leader of the Scorch Layers. We're making this recording to document our descent into the Belching Betty mine for the final exam. Well, say which exam? Oh, right. For the Fire Breathers' final exam, we're supposed to head inside, find the emergency beacon, and watch out for Scorched. Piece of cake. <laughs> I don't know. If it's so easy, why hasn't anyone else completed the exam? Because they weren't us. We've been hunting scorched at the farms for days. How much harder could the ones in the mines be? Grow a little backbone. Come on, guys. Let's stick together on this. All right, all right, shut up. <laughs> okay, scorch slayers. It's time to lock and load. Let's get the job done. Okay, squad leader. Tim and Andrew are both dead. Now what the hell are we supposed to do? Shut up, Sai. She's recording. Entry two. We've lost Timothy Wolf and Andrew Rhodes to a swarm of scorched. And the rest of us barely made it past them alive. I'm beginning to think Melody Larkin may have underestimated the difficulty of this exam. Mm. Oh, you're damn right she did. This is suicide. What the hell with this? I'm going back. No, you're not. You're sticking with us. Why? So we can get picked off one by one until we're all dead? No way, not me. You know what, Sai? You've been acting like a coward ever since we started tackling the Scorch at the farms. And now, Tim and Andrew are dead because of you. What the hell are you talking about? I saw him, Max. When those Scorched pushed through the tunnels, they came at us from all sides. Tim and Andrew were holding, and they told Sai to watch the back, but he did it. He ran away and left their rear flank wide open. That's what took them down. Bullshit! She's lying, Max! I'll both of you knock it off. Sylvester, if you want to go, go, but you're going back alone, and I guarantee you didn't clear everything behind us. But even if you make it, mark my words, you'll never be part of this one. Fine. Oh, you. I'm out of here! You're seriously letting him go? Yes, he does. We're better off without him.
Sylvester left the team some time ago. We heard his screams echoing through the mines only minutes after he left. <coughs> Rita and I are all that's left. Despite the odds, we've somehow made it to the beacon. Done. What's supposed to happen when we activate that beacon? I don't know. I suppose we'll get Melody Larkin's next instruction about how to get out of here. Well, there's no reason for us to stand here and wait. Push the damn thing. Applicant task successful. Return to surface for examination completion. Congratulations. Issuing. Orientation. Hollow tape. Please proceed to Charleston Fire Department. For company registration.
Overseer's log, top of the world. There's someone in control of this old ski resort, and if I ever find her, I'm gonna wash her mouth out with the first thing vaguely resembling soap I can get my hands on. Oh. Selfish. That's the word. Maybe that's why she's alone. Maybe that's why she survived. But the only way she'll tell me what she knows is if I help her first. All the good people I've learned about who've died, and it's the sociopath who still gets to live. <laughs>